you don't try and use every microprocessor out there. Absolutely. You try to keep to your ecosystem. Just because someone's brought out yeah. a new microprocessor. Um, I hate that. That's my, my absolute hate <laughs> is when the latest and greatest thing comes out and an engineer goes, oh, I want to use this one. Yeah. It's like, no, 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 do not yeah. touch that thing yeah. because there's six months of sunk work that needs to go into changing microprocessor to, yeah. to update the code or whatever to get that thing running. We've, yeah. we've, we've been uh, down that path many a time. Unfortunately, it becomes a personal decision because sometimes when yeah. you have an engineer that really wants to do that, you want to believe in them. If they but take you- ownership, then I'm, <laughs> I'm all for it. Total ownership of getting that thing yeah. across the line. Every chip has a bug. The first shock whiz that we had, the accelerometer that went in there had a very well documented data sheet that was yeah. one line. One line that says you must, uh, if you're depowering that accelerometer, you must take that voltage all the way to zero. Otherwise, if you repower it, it will it won't wake up, right? And we missed that, so we didn't have like a, a pull down resistor okay. on one of these pins, which obviously you don't want to use. Still kept some voltage on yeah, the pin. Yeah. So um, if you pulled the battery out of the shock whiz uh, on these P5 versions. Um, and put it back in, you, you, you were fast right. at replacing it within yeah. 30 seconds, the thing Didn't wouldn't start up. up. Oh. Yeah, couldn't power up. So that is a classic case of every chip has a bug. It's in the data sheet, but someone has to explicitly see that and then put that component into the reference design.